Welcome back to CI Living, where I'm on location at the County Market here on Kirby and Duncan and Champaign. And joining me now is pharmacist Norma Holtz. Norma, thanks for inviting us out here. Wonderful. Thank you for coming by. Now, the pharmacy here at County Market, it is fairly new. So what will people experience when they come here? Wonderful. Right now, friendly, fast service. Okay, now you've got some great tips for people who are traveling and maybe going on vacation this summer because travel season is upon us. Yes, I have seen cases where people have come to me to our area that have forgotten their medications and I've also received the phone call from my patient saying, I've gone to my aunt's, my mom's house and I forgot my medication, what do I do? Yeah, what do you do? Well, let's go check out some tips down here because you've actually got some great ideas for um, people who are traveling. So if you are traveling, what is something you need to remember to pack with you? Um, one, make sure you pack your medication. Pack your list of medications and pack a list of your doctor's information and phone numbers. Um, at our pharmacy, you can get a, a sheet that's printed off for you that gives you all the main information, your information, your allergies, your current medications for the past six months and your curtain physicians phone numbers etc okay and that looks just like this so it's something small that you can just clip and put in your wallet yes. so you don't forget it absolutely okay now if you don't want to take your whole bottle mm -hmm. what can you take instead or what can you travel with and can container wise do you have options well, available there's two best options one is knowing how long you're going to be gone and two, come by the pharmacy. We can put your original medication in a smaller container if you want. So instead of carrying a 30-day supply and accidentally losing it or leaving it behind, we can give you the same label, smaller bottle you can take with you. If you know you're gonna be going on daily excursions, then a pill container or um, smaller, depending on what you take, because these are just as easy to pop out if you're gonna go on a Saturday hike. You can pop it out and Put it in your pocket and go with you um, for whatever your your vacation may entail for that day. Yeah, that's a great idea. Now, what about over-the-counter medications? Do we need to bring those along as well? What are some popular ones that people take on vacation? Absolutely. Um, well, a lot of times we're on vacation, we little we overdo it just a little bit. We may get a headache. We may get headache from the sun, etc. So, if you want to take your acetaminophen, your ibuprofen with you, for kids instead of carrying around liquids with you, they also make disintegratable tablets, you know, or chewable tablets. That's very easy to to carry and pack along with you. Um, and then also just knowing your medications and knowing when they're due what time to take your medication is very important. Yeah, because if people are traveling in different time zones, it's important to note that. Yes, plan ahead. Um, if you know you take it every day at noon and you wanna make sure you take it um, uh, noon, still our time, plan ahead for the next time. Okay, and now you've got some other great ideas here in case you're traveling maybe by plane, if you need to get your travel bottles, make sure they're the right yes. increment size for yes. traveling by plane. Absolutely. Hop on the internet, go to the, the, um, the websites, you know, that talk about exactly how many ounces you can carry with you, what you can carry with you. In some cases, for people that are diabetic that actually have to have liquid vials of insulin or insulin pens, make sure you have your prescription with you. All you have to do is photocopy it. Um, and that way it's known as it, it's valid prescription. You're just not carrying your pins and needles and uh, a, an unknown liquid substance with you. Yeah, now what if you do happen to forget your paper with all of your prescriptions on it? Do they just call you or how does that work? Sure, absolutely. If you wind up, you've gone to, um, we'll say Michigan or somewhere else, some other state, and by golly, I forgot, but I know my pharmacist's name, I know my phone number. I give her a call and I say, okay, what do I want to do? And you find the nearest pharmacy close to you. You talk to that pharmacist, you let her know that you're from out of town and that you take this medication, this medication, this medication. And that pharmacy will actually call my pharmacy and I will give them the prescription over the phone. And then when you get back in town, we just transfer it right back. Okay, so lots of great tips. And we've got cute little um, sippy. We have the dosing spoons um, for, for our little ones. Um, and also we have the travel size pocket with you if you're in the park for the day, if you're, you know, hiking, um, band-aids, quick band-aids. We have the quick um, spray-on antiseptic. So 
you de you definitely got us covered a for lot sure. Of neat travel aids that's smaller, condensed, so you don't have a big bulky pocket. All right. Well, thanks so much for allowing us to come out here and visit. Lots of great traveling tips for when we're going on vacation. If you would like any more information on County Market and their pharmacy here, go to ciliving.tv.